Imagine a world where robots are indistinguishable from humans, how close do you think we are to that reality? We're living in an era where the line between science fiction and reality is becoming increasingly blurred. One area where this is particularly evident is in the world of humanoid robots. You've probably seen them in movies, read about them in books, or even interacted with them in theme parks. But have you ever wondered how close we are to having these robots as part of our everyday lives? Let's step back a little and understand what we're talking about here. A humanoid robot is a robot that is designed to look and behave like a human. The idea is to create a machine that can function in a human environment, performing tasks that would normally require human intelligence. One of the most fascinating subsets of humanoid robots is female humanoid robots. These robots are designed to resemble women, not just in appearance but also in behavior and interaction. This involves a high degree of sophistication in design and programming, and it's here that the power of artificial intelligence, or AI, truly comes into play. AI is the science of making machines intelligent. In the context of humanoid robots, it means giving them the ability to perceive their environment, understand language, learn from experience, and make decisions. It's the magic ingredient that transforms a simple machine into a believable human-like entity. The dream of creating a humanoid robot is not a new one. The earliest attempts date back to ancient times, with automata created by inventors and engineers who were centuries ahead of their time. But it's only in the last few decades with the advent of modern computing and AI that we've seen significant progress in this field. The journey to perfecting the female humanoid robot has been a long one. Each step forward has brought us closer to the goal of creating a machine that can truly mimic human behavior and interaction. But how far have we come, and how much further do we have to go? Let's take a trip down memory lane. The first humanoid robots were nothing like what we see today. They were simple machines, often clunky and limited in their capabilities. But even in their simplicity, they represented the first steps in a long journey towards creating sophisticated AI. The World's Fair, in 1939, gave us one of the first glimpses of such machines. Meet Electro, a seven-foot-tall robot that could walk by voice command, recognize colors, and even smoke cigarettes. Quite a spectacle for the time, don't you think? Accompanying Electro was his trusty sidekick Sparko, a robot dog that could sit, bark, and wag his tail. But what about female humanoid robots? Well, their story starts a little later, around the mid-20th century. These early models were not as advanced as their male counterparts, but they marked the beginning of a fascinating evolution. One of the first was a robot named Miss Honeywell. She was a mannequin-like figure that could rotate on a pedestal and wave her arm. Miss Honeywell was also equipped with a recording device, allowing her to answer questions in a human-like voice. Then, there was Alpha 60, a computer with a female voice that played a significant role in the French science fiction film Alphaville. Though not physically resembling a woman, Alpha 60's voice was distinctly female, marking a shift in how AI was represented. These early female humanoid robots had their limitations. They were not autonomous, their movements were limited, and their interactions were pre-programmed. But they were important first steps. They represented the potential of what could be achieved with advances in technology. As the years passed, the gap between science fiction and reality began to close. Robots that once seemed fantastical became more grounded in reality. The line between human and machine began to blur. As technology advanced, so did the complexity and capabilities of these robots. The journey from Electro and Miss Honeywell to the advanced female humanoid robots we see today is a testament to human ingenuity and innovation, and it's a journey that's far from over. With the advent of computer technology, the possibilities for humanoid robots expanded exponentially. As we journeyed into the 80s and 90s, the world of artificial intelligence began to flourish. The rapid development of computer technology provided a robust platform for AI to evolve, and with it, our ability to create more sophisticated humanoid robots. During these two transformative decades, we began to see significant milestones that changed our perception of what was possible in the realm of robotics. One such milestone was the birth of AIBO, Sony's robotic pet. Launched in the late 90s, AIBO was the first consumer robot to make a significant impact. It didn't just move and react, it learned, it adapted, and it interacted in ways that seemed almost lifelike, echoing the advancements in AI technology of the time. Around the same period, Honda introduced the world to ASIMO, a humanoid robot capable of mimicking human movement with astonishing accuracy. ASIMO could walk, run, climb stairs, and even carry objects. 
It was a clear demonstration of how far we had come in replicating human-like movements in robots thanks to advancements in motor technology and machine learning. It was during this era that we began to see AI and robotics intertwine more closely, each field fueling the other's growth. Machine learning algorithms became more complex, enabling robots to learn from their environment and improve their performance over time. This was a huge leap from the relatively simple, pre-programmed robots of the past. These advancements were not just about creating robots that could perform tasks, they were about creating robots that could interact with the world in a more human-like way. They were about blurring the lines between human and machine. And as we closed the door on the 20th century we stood on the brink of a new era in AI and robotics. But it wasn't until the 21st century that we saw the true potential of AI and humanoid robots. Welcome to the modern age where robots are more than just machines. They've become an amalgamation of engineering, artificial intelligence, and human-like characteristics. As we stand at the pinnacle of AI and robotics, let's delve into the fascinating world of state-of-the-art female humanoid robots like Sophia and Erica. Sophia, the first humanoid robot to receive citizenship, is a marvel of modern robotics. Created by Hanson Robotics, Sophia's capabilities are mind-boggling. Her artificial intelligence allows her to process visual data, recognize faces, understand speech, and even simulate human personalities. Her human-like expressions are a result of over 60 facial mechanisms, creating an uncanny sense of realism. She can engage in simple conversations, learn from her interactions, and even express emotions. Now let's shift our gaze to Erika, the ultra-realistic humanoid developed by Hiroshi Ishiguro Laboratories in Japan. Erika is designed to look and act like a 23-year-old woman, and she certainly lives up to it. She can understand and respond to questions, move her arms and head, and even displays a range of emotions with her expressive eyes and voice modulation. Erika's AI is a blend of speech recognition, human tracking cameras, and machine learning, giving her an impressive level of autonomy. These robots are not just about silicon and circuits, it's about the role of AI in their development and operation. Both Sophia and Erika use AI to interact with the world, learning and adapting from each interaction. They are equipped with machine learning algorithms that allow them to improve over time, becoming more efficient and more human-like. In essence, these female humanoid robots are a testament to how far we've come in the realm of AI and robotics. They are more than just machines, they are the embodiment of human ingenuity, our relentless pursuit of knowledge, and our unwavering ambition to create. They symbolize the convergence of technology and humanity, the power of artificial intelligence, and the limitless potential that lies within us all. These robots are not just machines, they are a testament to human ingenuity and the power of AI. As we look to the future, one question remains, what's next? The world of artificial intelligence and humanoid robots is a realm of endless possibilities. It's a thrilling intersection of science, technology, and imagination where the line between human and machine continues to blur. The potential future of AI and humanoid robots is as vast as the universe itself. We've only just begun to scratch the surface of what's possible. Imagine humanoid robots that not only look and move like us but also think and feel like us. Robots that can understand and respond to our emotions, making our interactions with them more human-like than ever before. But with this great potential comes great responsibility. We must consider the ethical implications of creating machines that can think and feel. What rights should they have? What responsibilities do we have towards them? These are questions we must answer as we continue to advance in this field. The benefits of these advancements could be extraordinary. Humanoid robots could take on dangerous jobs, reducing the risk to human life. They could provide companionship for the lonely, care for the elderly, and even help us understand ourselves better by giving us a new perspective on what it means to be human. However, there are also challenges we must face. How do we ensure that these robots are used for good and not for harm? How do we prevent them from becoming too powerful or too independent? These are not just technical challenges but societal ones as well. As we stand on the brink of this new era, we must remember that we are the creators. We have the power to shape this future, to guide it in a direction that benefits us all. It's a task that requires wisdom, foresight, and a deep understanding of both technology and humanity. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible with AI and robotics, the only limit is our imagination.